One of the best things about using Google Forms is how it collects the information into a spreadsheet. From there, you can create all sorts of different reports. You can use that data to do merge letters, all sorts of things. The challenge though, is when someone comes along to your original data and decides to reorganize it or sort it. They only select three out of the five columns and suddenly all your data has been corrupted because nothing's supposed to match where it's supposed to go. So what I always tell people is do not sort your original data. Instead, if you have a filter, sorry, if you have a report that you need done, we can create it using queries. Now queries basically is a function that says, here's your original data in your master sheet. I will take whatever data you want out of there. So whether it's specific columns or specific rows that meets whatever kind of filtering criteria you would normally use. And I will create that in a different place. That's what the query function does. It can be a little bit complicated. So we're going to actually use the um, easy query add on. This is a great tool to do all of this work for you. And you don't have to get into all the different technical side of it. I'm going to assume that you know how to install an add on. And so we're going to take a look what this add-on does. Here's a sheet that I've created. This is data that's been collected from a spreadsheet for people trying to sign up for session one and session two. So at the bottom, I have some different reports already created. So you can see what this does. All info is going to take all this information here that's been submitted. Notice it's in a random order. It's going to organize it all by session one first, then session two. And within, within each session, it's going to organize it alphabetically. I also am going to have a tab created that displays only session one information as well as only session two information. Notice from the main information, I also have a timestamp and a username. It's first name, last name. In my information, I've reorganized it last name, first name, and not use the timestamp or the email. This is all done through queries and this is what we're going to start with today. So I'm going to assume you know how to install an add on. The add on you're looking for is called easy query. Very easy to find. It's the only one in the store. Once it's installed, this is the sheet of information I'm looking for. I'm going to go create my sheet. So first of all, what's the, it's going to create a new sheet. It's going to put that information in there. So I want to call this all info. Now, what is the information I wanted to show? Well, do I want all of it? No, actually I don't. I don't want column a and I don't want the username being displayed. Because what's going to happen is this is my master sheet, but I'm going to print off copies of this information for organizers. They don't need to know the email addresses. So let's just give them last name, first name in the session. I only need columns C, D, and E. So C, D, and E, I'm going to get rid of F and G. At this point, that's all I'm going to do, and I'm going to hit create. So what's happened is I now have a new tab created, and in that tab is all the information that gets added into here, into here. If some new information is added to the form, it will automatically appear in the query because the query is saying, I'm going to the master stuff. Anything the query does is read only. If I try to make any edits here, and this is very common, you'll get this message that basically says, Hey, I'm trying to, I need this space, but you've already taken up and put stuff in there. So keep in mind, it's a read only. Any changes that need to be done obviously need to be done in here. So let's take a look at, at the report. We're saying go to sheet one, find columns one through a thousand, select C, D, and E. Now C, D, and E, that's the order of these columns. And it's not this C, D, and E, it is the C, D, and E of here. And this is something you have to get used to. But I can reorganize this by putting this in a different order. Notice now we have last name, first name, and then the session. So already I'm starting to take control of what I can do with my data. Now this is uh, not in the documentation for, for the uh, add-on, but if you wanted to organize something by sorting it, I can use a command called order. So order by and I'm going to take column E which is our sessions and I'm going to organize everything by that. Now you'll notice I got this blank space here. Well let's take a look at our original data. Our original data of this sheet also includes all these blank line uh, rows here. The way to get rid of that is there's a great uh, tool called crop sheet. It says crop to data. 
And that does exactly what it says. It gets rid of all the blank rows. So when we go into here, all those blank rows are gone. We now start with our data at the top here. Notice how it's organized. Session one first, then session two. This is us, this, ah, the last names here are still in random order, but I can say, you know what, order by E and then order by D. Our session one's here. Now we have an alphabetical, then session two, then alphabetical by last name. So I now have a report here that puts everything session one, session two, in whatever order I want, as well as the names. Now I can use the filters in here. So if I wanted to go and use a filter function, I could easily go into the filters here and say, you know what, I only want to see sessions two and leave it at that. But maybe I would rather have a tab that's separate that automatically updates so I don't have to keep doing this kind of stuff. Well, we can do that as well. Let's go back to our original data. I'm going to go under pull up easy query again. This time I'm going to create a, a report called session one. Again, I don't want all the data. I just want B, C and D. Sorry, C, D and E. But this time I can apply a filter where column E is equal to Let's say session one here. So if column E is equal to session one, I'm going to create this. There's session one. There's my session one uh, names. And you can see up here in the report, this is what we have here. Creating session two is actually quite easy. I can just go into here, duplicate this, go back to my original sheet, copy session two information, go into the formula here, replace session one with session two. I can also go to my filtered session one information and I can order it as well, just like we did before. Now watch where it says where equals E equals this session, that single quotation mark must be continuous because that contains what our session is. So in between the single quote and the double quote, you can put a cursor in, you can put in order by, and then whatever columns you want to have order by. And now we have the filtered information ordered by last name. That's pretty much easy query. And if you use that and not filter and sort out your original data, you'll never have to worry about corrupted data again.